he's the advocate for marriage equality. He's a native Iowan. He's a founder of Scouts for Equality. Um, his testimony about his family before Iowa House Judiciary Committee was most watched political video on YouTube in 2011. He appeared on The Daily Show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and The Late Show. And he's the author of best-selling novel, My Two Moms, Lessons of Love and Strength and What Makes a Family. I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Zach Walls, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Robert. Everybody hear me okay? Yeah? Yes. Awesome. Uh, like it was just said, my name is Zach Walls. Uh, I'm a sixth generation Iowan. I spoke before the Iowa House Judiciary Committee about two years ago in a viral YouTube video. How many of you guys have seen that video? A handful. Okay. Uh, to give you guys a bit of background, I'm going to talk a little bit more about why you're listening to a straight kid from Iowa talk to you this evening. <laughs> Afternoon. Sorry, in, in Iowa it's evening. Um, to, to talk to you guys about why I'm here today. Um, I was actually born uh, to a single lesbian woman living in rural Wisconsin back in 1991. Uh, she was a single lesbian woman who decided she wanted to be a mom. Uh, she went ahead and used artificial insemination, got pregnant with me. Uh, she met my mom, Jackie, uh, my short mom, in <laughs> 1995. Uh, they've been together ever since. They re raised me and my sister uh, and we've lived in Iowa since the year 2000. And now Iowa legalized same-sex marriage back in 2009, uh, shortly after California had done so about the year before, but then obviously with Proposition 8, things changed a little bit. Uh, but this was like a ray of good news, that Iowa, the state of the Midwest, could possibly have this opportunity. And so my mom, after having been together for 13 years, were finally able to get married. I got to be the best man at their wedding, I could say the toast to their reception, I had to watch them walk down the dial to the theme song of Star Trek <laughs> to uh, boldly go where no man had gone before. As so, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a cool moment for everybody, and, and things were, were, were relatively pretty good. But, like out here in California, there were a lot of folks who said, well, that's not, that's not okay, right? We don't want loving same sex couples to be able to get married. And so they put forward this constitutional amendment, which is a really, really big deal. And it was so controversial that the Iowa House Democrats uh, tried to stop it in, in the Iowa House. And they called this public hearing, put out this call across and said, hey, uh, if, you, if you oppose you know, this attempt to repeal marriage equality, if you support marriage rights for same-sex couples, come to the state capitol and testify about how this bill will affect you. Uh, I was an engineering student at the University of Iowa. I was a sophomore, and I, I heard this call and said, all right, I want to be, I want to go speak. I want to offer my my perspective on, on what will happen. And so, in true college student fashion, I wrote my speech the night before, uh, and then I got in my car and I drove out uh, to the Iowa Capitol. I uh, gave a three minute speech that changed my life. Uh, and instead of playing it for you uh, this afternoon, I said, it's to go ahead and, and deliver that speech for you guys. Or something like that. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. My name is Zach Walls. I'm a sixth generation Iowan, an engineering student at the University of Iowa, and I was raised by two women. Well, my biological mom, Terry, told her parents that she was pregnant, that the artificial insemination had worked, they wouldn't even acknowledge it. It actually wasn't until I was born and they succumbed to my infantile cuteness that they broke down and told her that they were thrilled to have another grandson. Unfortunately, neither of them lived to see her marry her partner, Jackie, for 15 years when they wed in 2009. My younger sister and only sibling was born in 1994. We actually have the same anonymous donor, so we're full siblings, which is kind of cool for me. And I guess the point is that our family really isn't so different from any other Iowa family. When I'm home, we go to church together, we eat dinner, we go on vacation. But, you know, we have our hard times too, we get invites. And my mom, and Terry, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2000. It's a devastating disease that put her in a wheelchair, so we've had our struggles. But, you know, Ryan. We don't expect anyone to solve our problems for us or fight our own battles. We just hope for equal and fair treatment from our government. The student at the University of Iowa, the topic of same-sex marriage comes up quite frequently in classroom discussion. And the question always comes down to, well, can gays even raise kids? And the conversation gets quiet for a moment because most people don't really have an answer. Then I raise my hand and say, well, actually, I was married by, raised by a gay couple. I'm doing pretty well. It's more than 99th percentile of the ACT. I'm an Eagle Scout. I don't operate my own small business. If I was your son, Mr. Chairman, I believe it'd make you very proud. I'm not really so different from any of your children. My family really isn't so different from yours. After all, your family doesn't 
derive its sense of worth from being told by the state, you're married, congratulations. No. The sense of family comes from the commitment we make to each other to work through the hard times so we can enjoy the good ones. It comes from the love that binds us. That's what makes a family. So what you're voting on here isn't to change us. It's not to change our families. It's to change how the law views us, how the law treats us. We're voting for the first time in the history of our state to codify discrimination into our Constitution, a Constitution that but the proposed amendment is the least amended Constitution in the United States of America. You are telling Iowans that some among you are second-class citizens who do not have the right to marry the person you love. So will this vote affect my family? Would it affect yours? Over the next two hours, I'm sure we're going to hear plenty of testimony about how damaging having gay parents is on kids. But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay father. You know why? Because the sexual orientation of my parents had zero effect on the content of my character. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So I gave, I gave that speech for the Iowa legislature on the evening of Monday, January 31st, 2011. The next morning on Tuesday, there was open debate on the House floor. All the politicians started debating each other about this issue. And the chairman that I was addressing when I said, if I was your son, Mr. Chairman, that chairman got down to the well of the Iowa House, and he made his argument, which came down to this. The reason that you should vote for this bill is because we have to protect heterosexual marriage in the state of Iowa. And we should protect heterosexual marriage because heterosexual marriage is special. And heterosexual marriage is special because heterosexual couples are special. And heterosexual couples are special because heterosexual couples can procreate accidentally. <laughs> Last well, is the correct response, <laughs> right? Accidental. Does this seem like a good argument to anybody? No. Yeah, I, I agree, right? Even if, you, even if you oppose marriage equality, I think, I think we could all agree this is probably not the best argument that you can come up with. However, that was the argument that they used. Uh, and they wound up passing that constitutional amendment out of the House. They sent it up to the Senate on a vote of 62 to 37 uh, with one abstention. And things were looking kind of scary for a minute. Uh, but then the Senate. Uh, you know, said, we're not going to even vote on this. This is not what we do in Iowa. We're not going to debate civil rights. This is a fundamental issue. And, and they killed the bill. And so for the moment, yeah, absolutely. 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 And so for the moment, uh, my mom, are, as far as I know, happily married. Uh, there's no looming threat on the horizon. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, but, but things were not over yet. 